What up guys, Asher Manny here, back at it again with another video, and today I'm going to show you guys how to find the Idris mission. And I know there's a few things on the web and on YouTube and stuff about how to find the Idris mission, but I feel like they're not very thorough and they're not very good. And I'm going to do the whole quest line for you guys, and we're going to do the whole thing. And I'm going to do some edits in this video because there's going to be multiple different fights. And I'm going to edit out the quantum drives that I do and things like that. So we'll kind of try to condense it a little bit. But nonetheless, this is how you start the mission, okay? You normally are here in your general tab, right? But to start off the Miles Eckhart mission, you have to get an appointment. It's random, okay? So randomly, Miles Eckhart will send you an appointment mission called Eckhart Security Job Op. When this pops up, you have 10 minutes to accept it. So randomly, this will pop up. I got the server FPS up here in the top. We're not gonna have that on the whole time, but just so you guys know, I'm on a relatively decent server. But anyways, Miles Eckhart will send you a message saying, hey, come meet me at Lorville at MNV, the bar in Lorville, so that we can talk. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna accept this mission. Boom, it's accepted. Might as well go in here and accept call to arms, you know, because why not? And we're going to go and start making our way to Lauraville. So that's what today's video is going to be about, guys. We're going to be doing the Miles Eckhart Security Ops quest line. There's like six quests total to do in this quest line. And at the end of it, you will unlock the stolen Idris fight. And you will be able to fight an Idris. And it's about 300k per fighting per each time you fight it. But I recommend doing it as a team or taking a retaliator um, to blow it up if you're doing it solo. Uh, you would it would take multiple reloads to blow it blow it up using the retaliator so I think it's more fun to bring as bring a team and kind of share the cash and things like that so uh, that's my uh, thought process on it let's go get it let's start flying so we're here and today we're flying the super hornet okay and reason for this is because you guys know how much I love the Reliant series I really do love my Reliant series and literally the Hornet and the Reliance are the exact same ships, guys. They carry the same guns. And in my opinion, the Reliant is better because it has more missiles. But, and it can do multi things. Like it doesn't only just do combat. Well, the Hornet only does combat. So, you know, teach their own. Whatever you feel more comfortable flying. You know, there's no there's no fact on what ship is better. The the, the ship that you like to fly and that you're good at is the best ship. That's in my opinion. If you can make any ship the best ship, if you get comfortable and know the ins and outs of every ship, that's how you do it. So we're on our way to Lorville. We're on the Quantum Drive to Lorville, and um, I'm all suited up in the Hornet, normal loadout, um, FR-66s, Atlas, JS-300, and I'm running six cannons, um, four size twos and two size ones the normal loadout the same exact loadout i run on the reliant uh, i could up the damage a little bit on the hornet by not using gimbals but i think you might as well use the gimbals for a loss of 30 dps using gimbals and losing 30 dps more than capable of doing that this is still my intro i apologize we're going to cut here and i'll see you guys at hurston um, but before I do that, you guys know what to do. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below how long it takes you to find the Urquhart mission because I swear sometimes it just doesn't give it to you. It's completely random, guys. I don't know exactly how to make him send you a mission. You kind of just got to wait for it to happen and it'll happen. And then you start the chain and we'll talk about the rest as we go through. I'll see you guys on the other side. I'm going to cut here. Alright, guys. Welcome back. We're pulling into Hurston now. Here we are. So it's going to be, yes, there's going to be probably a few small cuts, but for the most part, it's going to be just like everything else I do. I'm going to show you guys everything. I'm just going to cut out some of the quantum drive time and things like that because you guys don't need to see me quantum drive. It's pretty easy. Unless I have something to talk about, like in the beginning, I was doing an intro there. You guys didn't need to hear me talk about that. So we're going to go here to Lorville. That's where we're going. Meet Miles at the bar on Lorville. And while we're on there, or going there, you know, doing a small quantum around Lauraville, that is when I will talk about something. Like, let me mention the fact that, um, you know, remember there's a giveaway coming soon. 
when we reach 1,000 subs, there will be a giveaway. And in order to do that, you have to be a subscriber. So we got to hit 1,000 subs, be a subscriber, and you have to like a video from now until then and leave a comment. So make sure you smash that like button and leave a comment down below so you can enter the drawing for the giveaway. The giveaway will be probably a Reliant Core that comes along with a Loner Nomad, so it's a two for one. And if you guys enjoy my Reliance so much, I'm giving one away. How about that? It's pretty awesome, right? So here we are in Lorville. Find Super Hornet, which is pretty quick. It's a nice little nifty ship. Alright, so let's find the spaceport. Uh, I don't see it. You gotta find the blue flashy lights. I don't see it. It must be on the other side. Unfortunate that we came out of Quantum on the other side. Unless it's that right, right there. Maybe. I see one bleaky light, right? Where's the rest of the bleaky lights? That is the spaceport down there. It's because it's the spaceport, the, the rest of the blinky lights are uh, parallel to us, or I guess perpendicular, they're not parallel, they're, they're, they're facing the other way, so they're perpendicular to us. So you can't really see them, and now you can start seeing all the different lights there. So Here we go, pulling into Loreville. And I am gonna show all this on walking to Miles Urquhart and the bar, because maybe you don't know where the bar is, um, so I'm going to share this information with you and hopefully help people out. Uh, we are flying pretty quickly. Careful. Oh my god, I am not used to this Hornet. I apologize. <laughs> Woo! Well, hello. I should probably put my save speed on the save speed. <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. A little bit of fun touch and go there. The ship's fine, the ship's fine. We didn't lose anything, we didn't, I don't think we took any damage. It's not letting us repair, but hey, whatever. We'll store the ship and hopefully we can repair it on the way back. But anyways, we're on our way to get Miles. Uh, we are in just a white suit today. I did, I'm not wearing uh, anything special because I thought I was gonna go do some PvP with some friends and then the Miles Urquhart mission popped up and I was like, oh boom, we're doing Miles, okay? so. Let's see how the server goes, because the server's a little janky with the uh, FPS going from 15 to like sometimes 6. It's like back and forth. Uh, but yeah. We're on our way to Miles Ricard. Is there anything else we can talk about right now? Uh, you know, I haven't told you guys uh, about the description. You know, down in the description there's Discord. There's access to Astro Mercenaries Org if you want to join the org. We are a pretty cool, Welcome chill squad that just plays system. every single night and literally just does whatever comes to mind. Uh, no restrictions or things you have to accomplish to join the org. You just gotta be friendly and respectful and wanna have a good time and hang out with friends. And that's what we do. So if you're interested in Astro Mercenaries and, uh, you know, just going around and getting the job done, because that's what we do. We get jobs done. <laughs> but yeah, so that's down in the description. Like I said, along with Discord, there's other links to Twitch, to, uh, uh, you know, uh, Instagram, things like that. Less important things. <laughs> I mean, if you want to watch, or if you want to uh, follow my Instagram and stuff, I do post, you know, real life stuff, like the cat, and uh, the fiance, and things like that. So, you know, uh, you know, check us out there if you want. But here we are. We're on the train on Lauraville going to the plaza. And we're going to go meet Miles at the bar. This is the most important part of the mission, okay? So you need to be able to have this mission and go talk to Miles. And then once the mission change starts, you're free to stop and restart it anytime you want. You don't have to do this mission in one go. In, and you don't have to do it all in one server. Just this beginning mission part on meeting Miles has to be completed. And then it's going to unlock the chain for the rest of it. And now, from then on, Metro you can do it whenever you have time. The train. We're going to do it all in one go and uh, throw in some cuts and stuff, hopefully. Or, or maybe traveler. not, depending on how it goes. We'll see. Doors. But, um, yeah. And we're going to do most of the fights in the Hornet because the Hornet's got massive DPS. Just like the Reliant. You know how we do it around here. Massive DPS. 
and it's for me to practice the hornet. As you can tell, I failed on the landing. So I do need to practice with the hornet because I am going to soon, spoilers, make a video on making a bunch of money an hour, in an hour, using the Hornet. Just like I did the Reliant, just to compare the two and things like that. But as you see, this is the route you take. You can follow my route that I was walking. And here's the bar. We found the bar at M&B's. Ta-da. We go into the bar to find Miles. Hey, Miles, where you at, buddy? Homie, where you at? Where you at? He's down here. You take a left. You go down the stairs. And you go, bam. What up, Miles? How's it going, dog? And you go, yo. What's up? Eject and complete. You're looking for somebody. Miles. Yeah, you're looking for someone, so you walk up to him, and then this is unique, right? There's things to talk to him about, right? So you so you, you click on this top one. Hey, you told me to swing by. Glad you could make it. Grab a seat. He's going to tell you to take a seat, as you can see. And you're going to go over here, and you're going to take a seat. Simple as that. You go, what's up, Miles? Sorry for the locale. Don't look like much, but mm -hmm. the homemade stuff has some kick. <laughs> anyway, I've been hearing good things about you. Mm -hmm. Real stand-up sort. Just the type of people I like to know. Yep. As I mentioned, I run a small security outfit. We handle all sorts of ops. So I'm always on the lookout for people who know how to handle themselves in a scrap. You know it. So, what do you think? Well, I think you didn't tell me anything yet. But yeah, so then you do the uh, hold F button in here again. And make sure the blue is on the I'm interested. And then Great. click yes. We understand each other. Here's the tracking address for the ship. I don't, don't know, know what your sketch is looking like, data. but I got a gig. Here's the breakdown of the op. Boom. Oh. So now we have access to Miles' missions, okay? So mission accomplished, that's how it's done, right? And there it is, bounty hunter, personal mission, capture the Arlington gang leader, Les Arlington. Boom. You have three minutes to accept this one, and uh, so, you should be good after that, right? So you accept this, you go boom, and all these missions, I believe... Good luck and all that. Thanks, Miles. You're good. And, and you're good to leave now, and you can start the mission. And I believe all the missions are in Hurston. Um, we'll find that out together to make sure. I'm, I've done this quest line plenty of times, so I, I can confidently, 99% of confidence, say that all the missions are in Hurston. Uh, but, you know, I could be wrong. <laughs> Am I on the wrong way? We don't want to go to the central station. So leaving the bar is different because I came out the out. I came out the back end. You see, I came out the back end. So that's down to Tammy Suds, right? So that's so it's this way. This is the way to the to the metro line. See, there you go. So I came out the back door, and and now I'm going to the space center for the back doors. You see, there it is. There's the metro center. Easy peasy. We didn't get too lost this time around. So there's like five of these missions. There's five guys you have to uh, take down, and then uh, you'll you'll one of them will be the captain, and so the the captain will be the hardest one, and that'll be he'll be in a hammerhead. So you do have to have you do have to take down a hammerhead. So you either need to enlist some friends to help you take down the hammerhead, or be a boss and take down the hammerhead yourself. Or take a, a you know torpedo bomber and blow the hammerhead out the water with torps. Those are your options. Uh, I prefer to take the hammerhead out myself without torps, or call some friends just to help out. But sometimes when time's the essence, you just uh, bring a torp and be done with it because it's only one hammerhead that you have to deal with for the mission, and you just want to get it over with and get to the next part. Um, but that's the last mission. That's the captain. The captain's in the hammerhead, and then after you kill the captain, you unlock the Idris mission. So, that's how it's done, basically, guys. So we're going to go kill, take this first guy out, capture Arlington game member Les Arlington, right? Okay. We can read about it. We don't want to miss the train, though. But, you know, it basically says... Uh, calm tipping off. Les is an experienced pilot. You are authorized to use force. All that whatnot. So we're going to go get him. And you guys know how to get to the space board and stuff from here, but we're still going to just uh, walk away. That's not the right way. <laughs> See? I always tell you guys, I can't do two things at once. Talking and playing 
Sometimes I can't do. I can't. Okay, so I can talk and play, but I can't think and play. So there, I wasn't thinking. Where do I go? Think, talk, and play. I can't do all three. How about that? Welcome. Right. Words. The We're here. System. Retrie retrieving the super hornet. Boom. Oh, you know what? I could have done it in the glade. He might kill the. Might kill the hammerhead in the glade. Uh, another unique thing about this quest line is the fourth guy that you fight, right before you fight the captain, he is in an F8 Lightning. So you do get to go up against unique targets in this, and one of them is an F8 Lightning. So be aware of that. You gotta you gotta fight against the F8 Lightning. It's not very scary. It's kind of just like a um, a Vanguard uh, for the most part. I mean. At least the AI doesn't fly it very well. Like, if the AI flew it really well, maybe it'd be scary. But to be honest, the AI doesn't fly the FA Lightning very well. So it's a pretty pushover fight, and it's, and it's relatively easy. So, we're on our way to our Idris fight. Or, to our on our way to unlocking the Idris fight. Let's see if we can repair. We can. So we did take a little bit of damage. Might as well just hit everything else up. Hit all the keys, hit the buttons. We'll even set our route while we're on the ground, and maybe we'll get it. So some of these are, some of these are going to be in um, atmosphere, and some of them are not going to be in atmosphere. Well, I never called the the doors open. Oops, that's my fault. But some of these are going to be in atmosphere, some of them are not, and some of them are going to have a, a quantum jump, and some of them are not going to have a quantum jump. So, we're going to have to deal with that when the time comes. I will definitely do cuts in between flying around, and uh, or if, if there's not a quantum jump, I will definitely cut to where you don't have to see me travel 600. Uh, kilometers I would never travel 600 kilometers I would make it less than that like 200 kilometers would probably be the max that I would travel because I would cancel it or not. dang the Hornet is quick to get out of Atmo you see that that's pretty good it doesn't do very well on turning in Atmo it doesn't doesn't seem like it turns very well in Atmo though but uh, it's quick to get out of Atmo that can be used fairly well so here we go, we're on our trip to Ita, Ita, whichever one you guys prefer. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn off uh, the FPS display because I just uh, don't need that there and I prefer to not have that in my videos. And I, I just had it there in the beginning and so I kept it for you guys, but I'm just going to turn it off for the rest of the time. Plus FPS is just garbage and... Uh, and Warville anyways. Alright, so as I said, this one doesn't have a marker, so we're gonna I'm gonna show you guys real quick how to do the quantum cut jump and hopefully it all goes well and then uh, when we get relatively close I will do a cut and uh I'll go. So I'm gonna jump to something that is past the target, right? So and now as we fly directly over the target, I'm gonna press U to cut my ship turn power completely off as I get right over the top of it, so right about now we're gonna let we're gonna press U, turn everything off, toggle it back on. And because of the way it was all set up, it's probably not that close. It's around 200. That's we can in this situation, an Ita doesn't have a lot of jump points, so that's probably the best we can do. And under 200 is great, guys. Under 200 is great. So I'm gonna hit cruise control here. And I'll see you guys when I get there. It's not going to take me very long, but it's just going to be a small cut for you guys. I'll see you on the other side, all right? See you. All right, guys, we're getting fairly close here. So uh, I, I did set up my screens while I'm here. I forgot the Super Hornet does have this issue with the front screens. They kind of don't uh, change. You can't change the power screen and the shield screen. It's a little bug. Uh, things that we can talk about real quick while we're here is uh, missiles. Uh, you do have in the Super Hornet you have eight size ones so not very amazing missiles so we do rely mainly on our our guns that is so uh, going into our target we have a Gladius and we have a Hornet itself and the Hornet itself is the target 
So we're going to go ahead and take out the Gladius real quick. Uh, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to take out all the targets in every single fight. We'll see how it goes. It depends on the targets. Uh, the Hornet seems like it's coming at us faster. So we're actually going to take out the Hornet first. And we're just going to unload. And look at the DPS the Hornet gives out. Absolutely tremendous. Reload our guns. And boom, that should pop instantly. No? Okay. A little bit of a adjustment here. I'm surprised he's still alive. Mr. Hornet surviving the Hornet. Right, here it is. Target destroyed. Objective 1 complete. Uh, here is an eclipse. Wow, okay. What a turd. I don't like eclipses because they have they have the, the stupid uh, ballistics. But that's fine. And I'm going cannons here. It's a little bit harder to hit these first couple of guys with cannons because, you know, they're, they're small targets. So, yeah, we're struggling just a tiny bit to get the finish offs here on some of these smaller guys. But when we start fighting the bigger targets, the cannons are going to help out a lot. Like I said, you do fight some bigger targets. We are going to fight a, a retaliator. We are going to fight the FA Lightning. Uh, so those will be definitely beneficial having the cannons. So, targets down. That is the Hornet. Good job well done. All right, so right after that, guys, the mission complete. Boom, we did it. So now we go back into Contract Manager. And the mission should be in Bounty Hunter in general, okay? The first two were in Personal. But the next, the rest of the missions will be in Bounty Hunter. So I know I have a lot. So let's mark some of these off as red. And there it is right there. You see it, the Capture Arlington game member. So we're just going to go ahead and mark the rest of these off so that they're just not in the way. So here it is, Capture Arlington game member Nix. So he's our next target and it's for 10k, 500. And the same thing as before, we received word of Nix. Let's go get him. Let's go fight him. Neutralize the target. And let's go do it. So we're going to accept that offer, and it's going to give us a location. And hopefully it's not too far away and too annoying to get to. So there it is. It's on Ariel. So it's not on uh, Aberdeen the Poop Planet, which I'm sure we will have a fight on Aberdeen the Poop Planet at some point. So <laughs> get ready for that. The Poop Planet. Got a, or the Poop Moon, I apologize. <laughs> Where, where they hold all the criminals, right? So we're, I'm gonna change my limiter to like right about here because it seems, for, for me, the Hornet needs a little bit of extra kick, right? But it also doesn't do the best in its turning, so we're not gonna give it too much kick. So we're here on Ariel, and it looks like it's in an asteroid field. So a lot of these fights will be in an asteroid field out here, which is really nice, so they will have a quantum jump. So we'll just jump right there and we won't do a cut in between these two uh, fights. And uh, hopefully fighting the Retaliator, like I said, we are going to be fighting a Retaliator. It doesn't take too long to kill him. Because the Retaliator is the tankiest hull, has the highest HP on its hull in the entire game. So the Retaliator is a pain in the butt to kill because it just takes a while to get it done. Uh, and uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm not exactly sure, so our first target was a Hornet, right? So this is keeping track, right? Target number one was a Hornet. What is target number two? Let's find out. Target number two is a Hurricane, okay? So target two is a Hurricane, target one is a Hornet. So since it's a Hurricane, let's actually throw some missiles at it, right? Because we hate Hurricanes. Throw a few of those in. We're probably going to miss because I fired too late. Oh wow, we got hit by our missiles though. Like, they, they smacked us. It's fine. Here we go. We're, we're on the hurricane. Reload our guns. Make sure we dodge his bullets. Recharge our shields. Watch the, the rock there. And this is again where I was saying, hey, listen. These cannons are nice against the hurricane. 
Who's behind us? What is it behind us? What the, it's, it sounds like an eclipse or something. Stupid ballistics, man. Why do they gotta come at us with ballistics like that? It is, that's a gladius. Okay. It's fine. We'll do a little bit of power uh, triangle here. Make sure that we stay healthy. Make sure we stay healthy. We'll make sure that our boosts stay healthy. Gladius is trying to give us a little bit of a slip, but we're not going to let that happen. Gladius is real close to being dead. Hurricane is coming in and wrecking havoc. We're gonna have to pull away. Hurricane came in and decided, hey, listen, don't shoot at my homie, the Gladius. Wow. All right, Hurricane. Stop us from regening shield. For real. All right. There it is. Shield on regen. We're struggling to dodge missiles today. Okay, there we go. Got it. This is good practice for me in the Hornet. I don't fly the Hornet a lot, so it'll help for when I do the video on trying to make money in the Hornet. Ah, the sun. All right, get our shields back up. Wow. They're just, they're just giving us trouble. Can we finish them off, please? Not a big fan of the Hornets. Uh... Shields hit. Oh, I, I just don't. I feel like I land shots with the yeah. Reliant a lot better. I don't know if it's just the way I'm flying the Hornet and the way this guy. Dude, stop it with the ballistas, man. That's just so cancer. Oh, there's an eclipse, too. So there really is the eclipse. We're just going to finish this week. Finish him, please. Maybe I should go Badgers. You know, it just... Or go... Uh... <sighs> Dude! This Hornet! Or Hurricane, sorry. Shit. Just stop! Wow. I'm... I'm... <laughs> frustrated with this... Combat. Like... Dude. Just fly and fight me, man. For real, dude. Wow. Unbelievably. Just... <laughs> Guys. I apologize that this is... Like, I'm... F it's not even like I'm flying bad. It's just my shots aren't landing. I understand I'm using cannons. I understand. But, dude. Like, all those shots just seem to miss there. And then there's the shield 2, or the size 2 shield glitch. And now our shields are good. I'm not liking the Hornet, guys. I'm not liking it. I flew it in the past, and I didn't really enjoy it then. I'm still not enjoying it now.
Hello, rock. I saw you there. Don't worry. I saw the rock. Just finish him, please. And it's not even that his escorts are annoying. It's just that he's not taking damage. Pop. Thank you. Finally. I don't even care about his escorts. Like, the Gladius we destroyed earlier. He's like, the Gladius is gonna pop in one clip here. There it is. Gladius popped in one clip. Goodbye, Hurricane. I just wanted to see you dead. Okay, so mission accomplished. We did it. Let's get out of here. We went five. Let's not die to a kamikaze uh, eclipse there. So I apologize for that lengthy combat with a hurricane, but that's why we hate our hurricanes. We just hate them, we hate them, we hate them a lot. So our next mission, capture our own team gang Sam Weebly. I believe this guy's the, this is for 12k. I believe this guy's the guy driving the uh, retaliator. So first guy was a hornet, second guy was a, um, was a hurricane. And I believe the third guy here is a retaliator. Bing, bada, boom. Nonetheless, like I said, I still I still felt like I was flying good. It just it just seemed as the bullets just weren't landing. Yes, yes, yes. Use repeaters. I know, but I'm telling you, I don't want to go back for cannons. And this fight is going to be so much better with cannons. Fighting the Retaliator is going to be so much better with kids. And definitely with the Retaliator, we're going to take out his homies first, too. And two more missiles. And they're also marksmen and ones, you know, so it's like, how good are those? So it looks like another asteroid field. So we're getting pretty lucky on having... Oh, no, it's not an asteroid field. Or it is an asteroid field. It's obstructed. So we're gonna go around. So no cut here again. We're gonna go straight to the next mission, and because um, the short quantum drives, I could just briefly talk in those. You know, it's the long quantum drives that I would cut, and the long travel times that I'd cut. I apologize for Hornet lovers. <laughs> I just I fly so much better in a Reliant. I really do. How about those Buccaneer lovers, all right? The Buccaneers on the same playing field. The Buccaneer can get six guns. Leave a comment down below if you enjoy finding the Buccaneer. So I can bash on you too. <laughs> no, no. I, I like them all. They're all good. And like I said, if you master a ship, you become a master of that ship. And that ship can defeat anybody if you're that good with that ship. So that's why my Reliant does so good. Is I, I know so much about the Reliant. And I put in a lot of work on using the Reliant. So that's probably why I'm so go to find it. Oh, so the next guy is Sam Weepy here, and he's in a Vanguard Warden. Okay, you know why Sam Weepy here is in a Vanguard Warden? The reason for that is because there is only five targets, but that first personal one, the first guy, which was in the uh, Hornet, was just an intro, I believe. So he didn't count as the five so maybe so it is six if you count him so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take out the uh, buck here because the buck can be a little bit annoying see I, I don't know if it's just the way the hornet fires its guns but those shots should have landed and we should have like said goodbye to him a long time ago Son of a bitch. Cutties, cutties, cutties. Gotta love the cutties, right? Just look at the turn rate the AI have. Shit. Oh, shit. The turn rate the AI cutties have is a max. Shields. Yes.
I love how the, the warden is trying to get in the battle. You don't normally see that. So I appreciate the warden coming in the battle for content reasons, but I also don't appreciate it because it's just giving me more of a struggle with my hornet here. Or it's just forever on the struggle bus. I'm having trouble keeping boost up in the morning. Ah, cutties. Due to the cutties to be extra annoying too. Like, die, man. I have taken everything off of you. Everything. Oh, there we go. Got it. God, those cutties, dude. Absolutely. Y'all saw nothing. That was all planned. Look at this. Look at this. In the pocket on this man. This is what I like to see. That's what I like to see. That felt like a realistic fight. I'm about to take off Gibble. Cause it's just not gambling good enough for me. There it is, target destroyed. Alright, so we did a good job there. Target down. On to the next target. Okay guys, I'm practicing here with the uh, Hornet, so give me a break. The mission is not up yet. Because we just killed the Hornet, or the, the Gladius, or <laughs> the Vanguard Warden, guys. So there it is. Capture gang. Oslo. O Oslo. Oslo, right? 1500. Boom. Tracking him. Where can he be? He is obstructed, but he's on Aberdeen. There it is. The poop planet. The poop moon. Going to it. And I almost can guarantee that this will be. Well, hopefully, it's not an atmosphere. That would be terrible to fight the uh, retaliator in atmosphere. Now I say that, and it's going to be much. We'll see. We'll see. It's looking like. Are you kidding me? Possibly? Alright, so we fought a hornet, a hurricane. Yeah, it's an ammo. That's crazy. We fought a hornet, a hurricane, a warden, and now I believe this is the retaliator. And then we're going to fight the F8 lady. This fight is going to be hard. I'm going to change this to pretty much safe speed in the atmosphere. Because it's. Dude, this fight is going to be hard. Pay attention to the alt meter here. You got to stay above the ground. Dude, the Hornet really does go fast in a straight line in Atmo. There it is. Retaliator. You could also ping the ground so we don't hit the ground. Also pay attention to your, your bar here that goes, you know, shows you your relative angle to the horizon. Uh, just make life better. We're also getting low on uh, countermeasures. So 
Okay, here we go. Oh, more. Okay. Can I please be able to lock onto my target? No? You're not going to allow me to lock onto my target. That's... Are you serious? Oh my god. We're just screwed. To be honest here. I think the Hornet hit the ground, or the, uh, the Hurricane hit the ground. Oh, that's Retaliator. Shish. Or the Hurricane. Dude, we are so screwed. Oh, oh, yes! He definitely did hit the ground there. He definitely did hit the ground. So he's bye bye. Damn it! Target destroyed. All right. So now we have to deal with this guy. Where is he? There he is. Alright, so again, like I said, he's kind of the tankiest guy in the game. Oh, you know what? That's... They're getting hit by... They're getting hit by Klesher. They're getting hit by Jail. Talk about Savior. Look at those missiles that are smacking these guys. Hey, Aberdeen, the poop city. The poop world. Making life easy on us. That's awesome. Look at that. Also, it seems like two of our guns aren't firing. Has that been like this the whole time? Have two of our guns not been firing this whole time? Is that why my DPS has been trash? Shit. Or is that just recent? Is. Wow. Hey guys, I'm not gonna hate. That was a hundred percent luck. Hundred percent luck. But I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna hate on it. Uh let's figure out why our guns aren't firing. Okay, so usually what I can do to fix that, if the weapons aren't firing, I'll stop. So I'm going to stop here. When, 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 well, I guess I need to get out of, I need to get out of space, or I need to get out of atmosphere. I almost got out of the ship and fell to the planet, fell to the moon, because I was going to stop and get out of my seat. So if, if you're having an issue, which tends to happen, I, I've seen it happen quite a bit in the recent patches, and some of your guns aren't firing, you can just get out of your seat and then get back in, and most of the time that should fix it. So hey guys, look, there's the Hornet. Look at that, isn't, isn't it a beauty? That's a nice screenshot, I like that. Just gonna get back in. Voila. And guns are still not firing. What is up with that? Has it been that way the whole time? I'll have to go back and look in the recording. How long has it been that way? Okay, so hold on, let me get rid of that annoying glare in the background. Okay. All right, so next mission, 
is cast dead that is the guy who's using the fa lightning 100 percent. i know that because i've done this mission a lot cast dent is the guy that is the fa lightning so that's our next target we're actually going to stop at a space station and repair and try to get the guns working i don't know why the guns aren't working so i will be back i'll see you guys on the other side i'm gonna do a small cut here um, i'm gonna go repair and then i'll Alrighty guys, we're back. I just went real quick to Everest Harbor and um, repaired the ship and the weapon started working again. So we're good for that and we're on our way back to Magda to fight the F-8 Lightning. And he's got a target location. It's obstructed so it looks like it's probably in, um, in an asteroid field, which is fine. Fine and dandy. And uh, it should be, shouldn't be too bad. Oh, we do have missiles again because we did... Uh, restock so that's nice so we can use the missiles it should make this fight real quick and easy we're going to go in blow up the fa lightning and get it done and then we're going to prepare for the hammerhead and uh that'll be awesome right so here we go we're this is the last target before the captain and the captain is the last target in the um chain and then once you complete the chain like i said the idris mission will pop up randomly once per server and only one person can have it in the server. Most people don't have this chain done, so it's a pretty good chance that you'll be able to do the Idris mission if it pops up. But yeah, so everything's going great. We're doing awesome. Cast tense last on location. FA Lightning. Valkyrie. FA Lightning, there he is. The Hornet takes a long time to slow down, too. I mean, it's going really fast. So here we are setting up. We got his uh, engine sub-targeted, so hopefully that'll help us land these missiles. But they just seem to not... Yeah. That went okay. And he's standing still and the missile still. It's these marksmen. Man. There we go. Oh, see, we don't got comms up, either. <laughs> we forgot to set up our screens since we were jumped in and out of the ship, remember? F8 Lightning, he is a little bit tanky, he's a heavy fighter. Pro probably shouldn't look him in the eye either. Probably shouldn't look him in the eye either. Holy cow. lightning in the eye can be dangerous. I don't think I've ever fought an F8 lightning with the server FPS being as well as it, off as it is and he almost just completely annihilated us by ramming us. And now we got the sun against us so that's painful. Watch out for that rock there. Why is he all sporadic? Come on, man! It's these these cannons, dude. I'm wrong, guys. Run repeaters on the Hornet. The, the Hornet just does not do cannons well. Dude. 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 The F.A. Lightning. With server ticks being what they are, the F.A. Lightning is a monster. Yeah. It doesn't help with the Valkyrie breathing down my neck. Come on. Pop, baby, pop. Target destroyed. We're out of here. We don't want to fight the Valkyrie or anything. That's too much work. We can see our velocity vector. We're not going to hit anything. We're all good. Oh, 
Um, that's it. All the guns are still working. And now we're on the last mission before we unlock the Idris. Simple and easy. Bounty hunting. All these popped up. Get those out the way because they're annoying to look at. Uh, da -da -da. So it hasn't popped up yet. We're just going to refresh. Get out of the mobile glass. Come back. And bounty hunting right there. No. Did I miss it? I don't see it. I don't see Arlington Gaming Leader. I don't see it. One more time refresh. We did just kill the F8. Server 30k maybe? Uh, I don't think so. One more time refresh. Wow. Where's it at, man? It's not in here. I'm telling you. It's in the general. Shall we check server FPS? It's been really fluctuating. See, look at it's fine. We're not 30k. Everything's golden. Still not there. Let's make sure we didn't miss it. Where's our captain, man? We need to take out the captain. Guys, usually it's pretty instant. You guys saw earlier that they all come and they all get brought up pretty quickly after we kill the guy. What the heck? What the heck? Well, while we're waiting, let's go to Everest and uh, go get a bigger, better ship because I'm not taking out a hammerhead and a hornet when I'm not very good at flying it. So let's go get us a bigger, better ship. Drives now on. Let's check while we're in quantum. Where is my mission? Oh, you know what, guys? Quantum drive is now I know what I'm going to put into this. Thank you. Because I've already done the captain fight. I'm done. I've completed the... I've completed... We're going to talk about this for a second, guys. Listen. Let's talk. Let's look at Lauraville in the background, which is actually looking nice. I've already completed the capture of the captain mission where you got to kill the hammerhead. I've completed it. I did it last night. It was shared to me by none other than Mayo. None other than Mayo Luck, a fellow Astro mercenary. We did it as a group and did the Arlington Gang leader and killed the Hammerhead. So, this confirms it, guys. If you are doing the chain with your friends, even if you're doing it out of order, it still completes that specific mission for you. So I've already taken out the captain. I'm done with the chain. He's. I'm not going to get that mission. We did it. We did it. We're done. So that's over. We've now 100% completed the Miles Eckhart mission chain. It's done. It's over. Now we just have to wait for the Idris mission to pop up. And the Idris mission will pop up in the Bounty Hunter tab. And it will be um, Arlington Gang Stolen Idris. When it pops up, I will also put that in the video. I'll put a clip of that in the video. And we will not do the mission fighting the Idris. That will be its own video. But when this video comes out, I will put a clip of that of the mission itself to show you what the mission looks like. So you will see that at the end of this video. Also, what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to direct you guys to a clip. Or I'm not going to direct you. I'm going to edit in a clip of us doing the mission last night the Captain Arlington Gang Captain Mission. And that's going to go in right now, and it is an awesome mission. So you guys are going to enjoy it. 
Um, I'm not going to spoil anything about it. You guys will see it because it's going to come up right now. So enjoy the Captain Arlington Gang mission right now. See you guys later in the outro. Peace. What up guys, Astro Manning here, back at it again with another video, and today is the biggest one of them all. It is the top of the line, it is the dream mission, it is 10 people at the conference table, Astro Mercenaries are all set up around the conference table on the 890 jump, and we're going to go fight an Idris. The dream of all dreams, the full table set up, this is the pinnacle of Star Citizen currently. So. Let's get into it and let's walk in there. Alrighty guys, here I come. I forgot I gotta walk through this bar, but Ashton Mercenaries. Look at this. Look, I am so surprised. No one's doing anything crazy. Wow, we made it through without th that's better than someone doing something stupid. Everyone just did something everyone was fine. That was fantastic. Okay. Well, we'll start with introductions, guys. This is the Astro Mercenary crew that we're running with today. Like I said, we got a full table. I'm going to start off in the middle, then I'll sit down so we can do introductions and all that whatnot. But here we go. We got, you know, one of the right-hand men here. We got Sin over here. What's up, man? I'm ready to bang on this address. All right, sweet. We got Digital. What's up, dude? Another big right-hand man here. Or I guess you guys are the left-hand guys, right? Because you guys are on the left. And then we got Venturion. Death to the address. Yep. Okay. And we got and we got Frank Nitty back in action. What's good? No C2 is safe when I'm on. Oh yeah, you know it. And then and then Mayo Luck, the Explorer, the the Pico Ball uh, collector. Yeah, you know it's Bros for Host, huh? Yep. Yep. And then uh, our missing tag here, we got our homie Swag Kitty, who is an OG friend from high school. Just brand new. Look him in his white suit. He's got like five, six days in this game. Everybody, this is Swag Kitty. Hey, yo, what's up? Sweet, sweet. And then we got Tyrannus Maximum over here joining us for his first video as well. Hello, how y'all doing? Fantastic, fantastic. And we got Balaki all the way from the other side of the globe. Let's make it explode, I would say. Hey. And of course, we got Doc, another one of the trio yes, generals. Let's do this. Oh yeah, fantastic guys. All right, so here we are. Oh, Ditchy, thank you, Ditchy. <laughs> Please, chairs, thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. So we got ten butts in the seats. We filled up the conference table, guys. And today we're taking on the Idris, as you see on the top of my screen. Capture Arlington gang leader, and we are here on Aberdeen, and we're gonna fight him in space. He's in space. There might be a few rocks, so we gotta watch out for the space rocks. So we're gonna go get it, but before we do that, you know, we gotta do some of the niceties, you know, smash that like button for look at this, a full 890 table. Smash that like button, guys. Leave a comment down below if you've if you wanna be at this table one of these days and hanging out with the Astro Mercenary crew, all that stuff. Subscribe if you haven't already, hit that bell for alerts, you know there's a video every single day. I love you guys, thanks for all the support. Now let's go kill Nadris, guys. Let's go get it. To battle stations. We got we got five people that are gonna be on the 890. We got the turret men's, you know, we got the man the two man guns, the remote turrets, the rocket remote turrets, and then we have also five people outside of the 890 running in fighters. We have a Vanguard Sentinel, we have a Connie, we have a 325, we have a Freelancer Misk. And I think I missed one. A talent. Talent, baby. Yep. Fantastic. So hopefully the mission goes great. And there's no bug that destroys this mission. Because that was a, a really hard intro to make. <laughs> All right, so let out. me know when everyone is off of the ship. I'm and, and in their ships. Whoa, I didn't even get to see this. Look at this. It's beautiful. Look at the, the Connie's paint and the Vanguard out there, the Freelancer. Look at that. Gorgeous. And the Talon and the 325 are over here, but they're on the dark side. So I don't really get nice views of them, but it looks good. And look at that guy flying up across the roof. <laughs> Fantastic. Alrighty, guys. Let me know when you guys are 
guys from the ships and pull away a little bit so I don't smash any of you guys. Or I'll be watching, but yeah. So that was Frank flying across the 890. Did you go out the wrong airlock, Frank? Went out the wrong airlock. Fantastic. <laughs> you can go ahead and start warping in, you guys, if you want. Clearing up the clearing up the way. I'm gonna uh, actually set my route so that there's no conflictions. If I trash with you, oh god. Yep. When we gauge him, we can get him pull him out of the astral field. Not to fight it. If you want to, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Has everyone moved away from the A90? Yep, I already jumped in. We got ready to go already. Did you see uh, why do we need why do we need to jump? <laughs> One question. Huh? Where do we need to jump? Uh hold on, let me share the mission for you. Uh, oh share. yeah, 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 yeah. That's right, Blocky didn't have the mission. Got it? Give me a second. A couple of notification. You can also just jump to the party markers Quantum if you guys drive. want the mission. Activated. Quantum drive. Deactivated. <laughs> Everyone, quantum jump. Do I need to wait for the context share? <laughs> Alright, so. Got it now. Matt, slow it down. Stay with the. Wait for the rest of us. Oh, sorry. Get excited. Hit a Valkyrie, Hammerhead. Contact. Trying to clap the Valkyrie for y'all. Oh, oh there Look, on the left, on the left. They put him in a Hammerhead, he's not in the Idris. Oh, you didn't even do the Idris. This isn't no, even the Idris. Yeah, you didn't even do the right leader. mission. Oh my goodness. This is the Final gang one. leader. The, the Idris mission is called Stolen Idris, bro. It didn't pop, this is well, yeah, because you have to complete this one first. Oh my goodness, we don't even have the mission. All we'll right. We'll go ahead and kill this one then, and we'll, we'll keep that intro. Right, we can knock this one out. Yep. Contact. It happens. No. <laughs> That's fantastic. Contact. Oh, we can deal with this one, and we're gonna take that one. Oh, down. I'm getting hit by a ready to hard. Can't even see my shields. There's a bunch of random. Yeah, we're not anywhere near you yet, so back Contact. up a little bit. Contact. are down. Oh god. We're still fishing Contact. out. Contact. 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 I, I knew there was something on my Jesus. Yeah, I didn't finish it because I didn't want to clear it. I thought that was the last mission that cleared it. Contact. Okay, who are we taking down first? May many. Uh, well... We'll take out the hammer. The main target. We'll take, yeah, yeah. take out Maltrox. Well, the rest will take out the other okay. guys. Contact. Swag, don't fire. So we're saving missiles for the Idris. At least for the 890. We're going to need to keep you to keep your nose a little bit down on the ship so that we're able to keep the turrets on it. Yeah, I got you. I'm going after that Valkyrie. Pass by him, drop an EMP as I go by. All right, the hammerheads aggroed me. Yep. I'm trying to get him back. Valkyrie's <laughs> down. <clears throat> Flying fast though. Oof. That was fast. It's all right. We're, we're 
professionals out here. Watch the 90s position, guys. All right, I dropped EMP. Boy. I got his aggro. Rappers out. Watch the random caterpillar. It's white, so I'm gonna shoot it. Watch Freelancer, watch Freelancer. Still a cool mission to have ten people. That's a good test run if the next one will pop will learn it real quick. It'll pop. I think it'll pop right now just because you've completed it. At least hopefully. Alrighty guys, I'm back. What's up? How we doing? Uh real quick, just to finish off the end of this video in the contracts manager under bounty hunting, it just stolen by Arlington Gang. This is the mission that gives you the uh Idris fight. And, it, it, and this one, it seems to be only 225k for the fight. But the point is, it's an Idris fight. So that's what this is about. It's about being able to go fight an Idris. So you should only be able to accept one of these per server. Um, if you were to want to do another one, you might have to server swap. And if someone is already fighting the Idris, you won't be able to get it yourself. So it's kind of one of those missions that it's one per server kind of thing. So be aware of that. But there it is right there. After you have done all the other missions and completed the Miles Urquhart uh, mission chain, you will unlock the Idris stolen by Arlington Gang. And this will pop up uh, every time you're playing the game, uh, just like randomly. But it'll be there. You don't have to do any more work. After you complete this mission, you don't have to redo the whole mission sequence this mission will be here every time just randomly and only one per server so that's how you get the Idris mission guys that's it uh, I do hope you guys enjoyed that clip from us doing the captain's mission the fighting the hammerhead <laughs> it was funny Mayo had led us to believe that he had got the Idris stolen by the Arlington gang mission ready to go and being silly, I didn't even realize that it wasn't it when we were starting the video until we started fighting the Hammerhead and we're like, wait a minute, there's no Idris here. This is just a Hammerhead. This is the captain fight. So still, it was really cool to have all 10 people on the 890 jump and filling up the conference table was really cool. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little short how-to tutorial on how to get the Idris stolen by Arlington Gang mission. So that's it, guys. Um, small little thing to, to look out for. Look out for. We are going to fight the Idris on the 890. We're redoing that video, and uh, it's still awesome and it's still amazing. And so look out for the 890 versus Idris mission coming probably tomorrow to the time that this video gets released. Um, I have already recorded it. <laughs> And it's awesome, guys. So we did get to do the Idris for 890. So check it out. Remember, there's a giveaway at 1,000 subs. Make sure you comment on this video and every video from then on um, out to make sure that you're in the drawing and all that stuff. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Astro Manny. And this is everything, guys. Um, um, Astro Manny signing off. Hope you have a wonderful day. And adios.